When Mercedes-Benz introduced the first SLK in 1996, I was there. And while it was great to have this little two-seat roadster that had this cute little hardtop Vario roof, I'll tell you a dirty little secret. It was a bit of a chick car. Well, this brand new 2011 SLK, third generation, bears a much closer resemblance to the iconic SL of the 1950s, that going car, and the brand new SLS sports car. Have a look at the front of this car. I think you'll agree, it has killer looks. I just spent the entire day driving across the volcanic mountainous center of Tenerife in the Grand Canary Islands to put this car through its paces. Spain's Canary Islands are a great place to test cars. Tenerife is the largest of the Canaries, with the scenery dominated by the third largest active volcano in the world. Our test route began fast and smooth, then headed inland and uphill to the volcano, where it all went to hell, becoming twisty, lumpy, narrow, and scary. This is where the 2012 SLK proved itself. The SLK is now based on the new C-Class, so everything good about the C-Class's multi-link independent suspension transfers to the SLK. The first of two optional suspension upgrades is a lowered suspension with shorter springs and stiffer dampers. The special order dynamic handling package, though, adds electronically controlled automatic variable rate dampers for the first time on the SLK. The SOK 350 hits the U.S. this June with a direct-injected double overhead cam 3.5 liter V6. Its 302 horsepower is helped by a hugely improved 7G Tronic Plus automatic. You can run through its seven gears using paddle shifters with the center console switch in manual mode, but left to its own devices, the automatic is astonishingly precise. It'd be totally brilliant, though, if it were a tad quicker with those gear changes. The new 201 horsepower, direct injected, and turbocharged four-cylinder SLK 250 arrives a few months later. It's the real sleeper that bears attention. The SLK 250 is a second slower than the 350 from 0 to 60, but it has the same 155 mile an hour top speed and a good whack of torque. The 250 also weighs 100 pounds less, which absolutely transforms its handling. It feels more agile, lighter, and just simpler and more flingable, if flingable is a word. In the end, the SOK is all about open air driving. First came the Vario roof, a superb retractable folding hardtop. Then came the amazing air scarf, which blows warm air from the headrests around your neck. 80% of SLKs leave the factory with that option. This year's news is an optional panoramic glass Vario roof and Magic Sky, which is the panoramic roof with electrochromic glass that switches from clear to dark with the touch of a button. Magic indeed. There are numerous new luxury and safety options which add a new level of maturity and desirability to the SLK. Imagine what an AMG version will do for it. So at the end of the day, the conclusion is not just a killer looking car, the SLK is a killer car and maybe even a chick magnet, but certainly not a chick car.